The National Water Commission, NWC, has already informed its customers in parts of the corporate area to brace for supply disruptions. The commission says levels at the Mona and Hope treatment plants, which serve much of St. Andrew, continue to decline. Both are now in the region of 30% of capacity. Effective Sunday night, the NWC began imposing supply restrictions. NWC communication manager, Charles Buchanan, says some persons will be without water for several hours. For about six hours each night on the Hope and Mona water supply system. That means that, in effect, we will be cutting back operations from 10 p.m. through to 4 a.m. nightly. We expect that customers will see their normal supply outside of those times, but there would either be no water or very low water pressure between the six hours from 10 p.m to 4 a.m. each night. And Mr. Buchanan responded to a forecast by the Barbados-based Caribbean Institute for Meteorology and Hydrology that drought conditions in the region are expected to continue into the early wet season as weak El Nino conditions are expected to persist. There is uh, no normal rainfall for the month of May. That would be of some concern. But uh, the... Indications that we have seen suggest that we may indeed get um, rains in May, um, may not be significantly below normal, but even more important for us is where the rain falls, because there are parts of the country that are more severely impacted by the continuing dry season uh, than others, and there are also areas that are more responsive to early rainfall. In its latest Caribbean Climate Outlook Bulletin, the Caribbean Institute for Meteorology and Hydrology said dry spells are forecast for May to July. It is said drought relief in affected areas may take several months. Garth Daly, Frontline News.